Yes, people, what is going on, everyone? It's Mike back again, and this is your, your daily video that I haven't uploaded for three days because, uh, well, I come back from Florida last week, and then I've spent a couple of days seeing the family again. So you didn't see me Wednesday, you didn't see me Thursday, and you didn't see me last night. Although I did want to get a video out to you last night, I just couldn't. YouTube wouldn't work. Anyway, let's get into it. We had some huge news yesterday that essentially... Pete Kenyon's consortium, they're, they're prepared to whack in for the stadium. They're prepared to give us significant funds for transfers. They're prepared to give Mashiri his payoff. Like, Everton, in my opinion at this point, will be sold. I, I'm convinced of it now because I didn't believe it at first. I didn't. I, I thought, look, there's, there's a lot of bullshit around all of this. But I think this is happening. Like, I legitimately think this is happening. There's other consortiums involved. People have been saying there's one from Saudi. I don't think there is. Um, I know there's three from America. Um, so, look, it's just your stance on American owners. I know a lot of people are concerned. But the, the difference for me in, for me is, and there is this but, I mentioned this with Millsy, Pete Kenyon, because he has been a CEO at Man United. He's been a CEO at Chelsea. He knows the Premier League. And to be honest... He, he knows what success looks like from a board level. And with owners that essentially are more ruthless, actually give a shit. We'll change the board. We'll, we'll get rid of Bill. You know, there's rumours that Bill wants to stay on as chairman. Mate, no. No, no, no. So, for me, this is all positive news. And then on top of that, we're being linked with decent players. So, for example, Everton today have been linked... We've a couple of players from Spurs. We've been linked with a couple of players from Chelsea. And what's important about this is we need to establish and accept where we are almost because Everton, as a fantastic club that we are, Chelsea's maybe, but we shouldn't be having to go to Spurs for players, especially their players that don't get in their first team. But at the minute, we aren't that Everton. We are an Everton that is very low, very poor. Haven't got that squad quality. We need better players. Now, Lucas Moura, who we've been linked with, is a good player. We've seen this guy score a hat-trick in a semi-final of the Champions League three years ago. This this is a, a player who is a very good footballer. And yes, he can't get in Spurs because they just happen to have better footballers Young Min Son, and they don't really play that sort of setup. He can play on the right hand side. So, depending on how Spurs play, he doesn't fit. He would walk into this Everton side. He would. We've been linked with Harry Winks. Now, for me, um, what I did is after I did a video on him, and after I sort of said, look, I don't want him, I watched lots and lots and lots of YouTube clips on him. Anyone can look good on YouTube. Anyone. You, you, I mean, I look fantastic on YouTube. Look at me. Who would not want to? I can, I can, I can sense you all looking at me, going, oh, "Look at him." But realistically, when you get me in person, you see that I look like a potato. So you don't go, "Oh yeah," and that I think is Harry Winks. He's deceiving. He's got a good range of pass, but he also has some absolute stinkers. And we've seen that before in our midfield. We've seen Andre Gomez do exactly the same thing. A good range of pass and some absolutely shocking performances. So for me, I'm not feeling Harry Winks. And then people are talking about players from Chelsea who we've been linked with Gilmore and Duran. We've been linked with quite a few. Zayech or Zayech, however you pronounce his name. There's, there's quality in that Chelsea team and I think if I was looking at getting in a few players, I think I'd prefer them to be from Chelsea. Um, I think Lampard's connection will help. I think Everton, you know, there's rumours that Everton have been offered one of the players that was on loan for Chelsea last season as part of the Richarlison deal. That best not be Gilmore. That, that best be Gallagher. Although I suspect it won't be because I suspect he will have an input in that midfield this season. But there is players in that Chelsea team that, that I would take in a heartbeat. There's also others that I wouldn't. But, you know, what we need is players who are capable of scoring goals, ball carrying, defence to attack. 
um, can put a foot in, can tackle. That's a midfielder. That's a Conor Gallagher type player. We could do with a winger if Richarlison leaves slash striker. Well, there's players like Brozier. He's in there. West Ham are also heavily linked with Brozier. So there's there's players at Chelsea that fit what we want to achieve. And it's just, what are we going to do? I genuinely think this is a huge toss-up between Chelsea and Tottenham for Richarlison. And I think he'll be playing against Everton in the Premier League. And I'll be gutted to see that. But I think that is what's going to happen. Another player that's been linked with a move away from Everton is Andre Gomez. Apparently, he is getting some traction from Spain, Italy and Portugal. And quite honestly, I don't care where he goes. I absolutely believe Gomez joined Everton with the right intentions and he said the right things at the start. He, he, he pulled the strings. He was a great footballer on loan. He got that move and he just hasn't matched that loan. He then obviously has the leg break, but let's be realistic. He was pants before it, and that's just exasperated the issue. And and if Everton can get any sort of fee, and I mean any, any fee, then go for it. Moyes Keane is another one. Go for it. If Everton bring in £25 million for Moyes Keane, if Everton bring in £65 million for Richarlison, that's £90 million if we can make another 10 million here or 5 million on top of the wages we've saved with Sigurdsson and, and others, then that's that's great. That's fantastic. So for me, for me, I feel like the wind is going in the right direction. There is an issue with all of this, though. There is a significant issue with all of this. According to the ESC and a few other um, people, Everton have to have this financial stuff done by the 30th of June. Which means, in my head, you're going to see a lot of outs this week at Everton. If that's not the case, then I don't know what is happening in terms of financial fair play. But from what I understand, 30th of June is the cut-off. Well, Everton have got five days to get these players in and out the books. And look, to put this straight, if Richarlison's leaving, I'll be devastated. But for what he's done for this club, I respect him hugely. He, he loves Everton and there's never going to be a doubt in that. And it really wouldn't surprise me if he goes to a Chelsea, he maybe doesn't quite hit the heights that he'd, he'd expect. And maybe in three years he comes back to Everton. None of that would surprise me. Um, Everton are being linked with players from abroad. They're being linked with, you know, players from the Championship. And, and all of that is fine. But these videos at this moment is really all about getting people off the books and, 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 and moving some of these big earners away because Everton needs to press reset. And that's what this bid, this, this consortium can do. It's a big, big reset for Everton Football Club. And that, that is exactly what we all want. So, I'm all for that. So, that is that, really. There's not significantly loads going on. The, the stadium's coming on a tree. Everton are definitely progressing with that. Who's paying for it at the minute, we still don't know. But the facts are, there is a group of people out there that want to buy a Premier League football club that have got billions of pounds they can spend, that have a person who knows what he's doing in charge or, or leading that bid. That can only be positive. Like th that isn't a negative. And look, if Everton's model does change, if it is sell to buy or they have to invest a little bit of money and then it turns into that model, well, there's teams it's worked out for. There's teams it has worked out for. Dortmund have been in Champions League finals. They've won the league. Liverpool, as much as we hate to say it, they've, they've been pretty successful from buying and selling players over the year. So if that's the model, that's the model. As long as it works for us, I don't give a toss. Because at this moment in time, I don't want Everton to be sitting 16th in the uh, uh, in the league at the end of the season. You know, I want to see us kicking on. I want to see us challenging. I want to go back to the days where we used to finish 5th and 4th and 6th and challenging cups. I want to see all of that. And at the minute, we're nowhere near it. And we also need to accept that. So, accept it. 
move on, change it. And that's what you do. That is what everyone should do. So, look, for me, we go again. Big week for Everton. Make some of these changes if they have to this week. Fine, get it done. And then go out, invest, spend, bring those players in, go and get a loan or two. I'm sure behind the scenes, Frank has left a list with Kevin Thurwell and probably the board and said, this is what I need. And I'm sure on that list, it's probably a striker, it's probably a number six, and it's probably a centre-half, depending on what's going to happen with Michael Keane and Yuri Mina, etc. Because again, it wouldn't surprise me if we see some changes. So, yeah, all in all, pretty good. Um... I'm not, I weren't necessarily going to touch on other clubs, but other clubs are doing business. Newcastle have bought in a few players, um, which you would expect. Um, they've got a deal agreed for Sven Botman, which I think is a decent signing, but I don't think it's sensational. But I, I think it's decent. I think I think if there was bigger clubs in for him, I think he'd probably gone there. They've done well with Nick Pope. I think that's a great signing. Um, and Matty Target's a very solid left back. Arsenal, they've Gabriel Jesus, 45 million. I think that's a snip. But the biggest snip is, is Manchester City and Leeds. I'm so shocked at this that Calvin Phillips is leaving for 45 million. I'm shocked at that um, because he definitely, in my opinion, is worth more than that. I, I really rate Calvin Phillips. So that surprised me. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, really, for the. The bigger ones. Obviously, we, we know about Liverpool's big signing. Um, I don't know how that's going to work, to be honest. And that, that's not me being biased. I just think it's a big jump for him. Might take him a season or two. Um, so, we'll see. So, guys, look, that's that's a bit of a roundup. That's the rumour mill for you. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you share with your friends, as I appreciate. Um, changes are coming. As I've said, the changes are coming. We are modifying the channel modifying that's what i like so we're doing that um and yeah we'll be back to daily content um we will have to have a, the occasional day off and the reason for that is it just might not be any news to talk about and i've never been a fan channel creator that just wants to come on air and tell you stuff that and not give my opinion um you know, it, it, what's the point? Like anyone can read a newspaper with, with rumours. I want to give you my insight or my thoughts. Um, and sometimes that's just bang average. So, yeah, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Um, this is free content, so a like and a subscribe really does mean a lot. Um, if you are a member of the channel, I really appreciate the donations over the last 12 months. Um, but you don't have to be, you know, you... There is no difference. You are literally just supporting the channel. Um, so, you know, if you've got a membership and you want to cancel it, it's fine. Money is tight for a lot of people at the minute. And I will not be someone that is um, that is is trying to make it harder for people, whether it be anything. Um, and we're going to look at ways where actually I can try and help. So, you know, we, well, you know give some money to charity or something. I, it, it all depends on the income the channel channel generates, which all of that increases if you like and subscribe. The more you do, the more you share, the more I can help. And I genuinely will help. Um, my DMs are open. People are struggling. Message me and, I'll, and we'll see if we can do anything. Guys, it's a pleasure as always. I love you all. You've supported me through thick and thin. I think this channel has been going four and a half, five years now, which is absolutely ridiculous to be frank and um the love and support has been amazing um yeah